Hi, welcome to What's Going On. I'm your host, Colin Job. Right here on Remix TV, we have a really interesting show for you today. We have Wendy Crystal of Inspire Cosmetics. Wendy's going to be telling us all about the cosmetic world and uh, why men should wear cosmetics. Just want to let you guys know, I am wearing makeup today. First time ever, so it's, it's a whole new world for me. So we're going to take a break, we're going to come back, and then we're going to talk all about makeup. We gave it the power of a supercar. Then we gave it the precision of a Lexus. And in turn, wrote a new definition of what's possible for an automobile. This is the pursuit of the impossible. This is the pursuit of perfection. Welcome back to What's Going On. I'm your host, Colin Job. As I mentioned before, I am wearing makeup today. And it's all due to my guest, Wendy Crystal, Wendy of Inspire Cosmetics. Wendy, thanks for joining us. Thank you very much for having me, actually. You're very welcome. Well, we're, we're talking about cosmetics. <laughs> I, I'm, I can't Obviously, believe I'm having this conversation, actually. A subject that you seem very sort of unsure about I or am. something that you're just I not am. educated in. Or... I'm, I'm totally uh, ignorant to the whole concept. I'm, not, I'm aware it exists, but it's never existed on me before. So today's a totally new day for me. And... Uh, I just want the viewers to take a look and tell me if it's improved me. I'm, I'm sure some will think it's a better deal than what they saw before, but uh, ultimately only time will tell. Oh, why don't you tell us about Inspire Cosmetics? How did it come about? And What was my epiphany moment or why yeah. did I start the company? Why did you start the company? I started the company because I'm actually a full-time Ford model oh, okay. and was a motivational speaker and I was very tired of the lack of selection within the industry and I was sort of just coming from doing a makeup because for part-time I like to do makeup on weekends oh, for okay. people motivating women. So and it was a hobby, was it? Yes. And I was in my car, I was on my way to the store to buy this liner, this white liner, and the store had discontinued my favorite white eyeliner. And I had a little bit of a mental breakdown in my car. Mental and, breakdown? Yes. Wow. <laughs> a little bit of a breakdown in my car. Oh, okay. And in that breakdown came the idea that I needed to revolutionize the industry with starting my own cosmetics line. Because I was sick and tired. So of, that was your aha moment? That was my aha moment. So yeah. you decided because of this, the Be lack of white liner? Uh, no, <laughs> the white liner was the catalyst, oh, the okay. right? The idea was the lack of selection of the quality of product coming from one line of cosmetics. So there's okay. lack of continuity between each cosmetic company. So most women would actually out there understand what I'm talking about, that you'll like this person's lipstick, you'll like that person's eyeshadow, but not every single product in every woman's makeup bag comes from the exact same company. Oh, okay. All right. So, <laughs> so, uh, so, you, so you decided, you had this epiphany? and you decided you were going to change the industry. I was going to pave the way and literally revolutionize the cosmetic industry with a much better, higher quality product at a more affordable price and bridging the gap between us industry people, because I also work in film and television, a full-time Ford model. I I've traveled the world and I've been able to experience many amazing different things and I wanted to bring that world to the everyday woman without gouging her pocket out so that people could wow. look in the mirror and feel that inspiration, hence Inspire Cosmetics. Makes sense. Makes sense. And but did you did you have? I know you said you'd done makeup before. Did you have any knowledge of putting together products? Like how did that come about? Because that to me that's a totally different world than simply of cus like how did I customize yeah. the products? Yeah, or how exactly. Like how did like you know? It's one thing to think, okay, you know what, the industry needs to be revolutionized. It's another thing to actually. The, the industry is just forward. lacking quality. It's lacking quality. Lacking quality. And I, I find many of the cosmetic companies out there were blowing smoke up people's skirts by oh, okay. specifying, oh, our product's great for this, our product's great for that. And it's really not. We don't need foundation. We don't need primer. We don't need all of these types of things. But when it comes down to product quality, um, I literally drove through the night in my car to hundreds of manufacturers across the United States. I'd sleep in my car overnight, show up at one in the morning. Had, See, you're I passionate had, about this. Oh, yes. I had checklists of exactly what this product had to entail. Then I would prototype out the product. I tested it on myself for over wow. three years. And then we actually uh, prototyped the product to the film industry last year. We did the Toronto International Film Festival last year and we did celebrity makeup. And that's when we demoed our product. That's the first time I actually test marketed the product out. Right. And how and did it go? Was very it well, well. It was received more <laughs> outstandingly than I probably went in thinking. Because sure. you always go in thinking, how are people really going to accept this? Right. What's going to actually happen? And 
I literally have had people cry in my makeup chair cry. because they just are so happy Whatever. that I've been able to bring something that's such of a better quality. Hence, you're wearing cosmetic right now. Yeah. We live in high definition. Most people out there, everyday people don't understand what that means. High definition is real life. It means we're not living in filtered lights. We're not, you know, being able to mask things up by wearing an inch thick of makeup. You could walk around outside right now and not a single person would know that you have makeup on, but yet you have more of a soft, flawless glow going on. And that's what we want. We want a flawless feeling when we look in the mirror. Oh, okay. Well, I, I don't know. I've always thought I had a, I've had a glow going for quite some time, but... Uh, now you have even more. Of a oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Great. And it, it's... So you decided to differentiate your company from all the other companies out there. Because in the cosmetic world, like what little I know of it, my gut feeling tells me that there are lots of companies out there. It's an oversaturated industry with a lot of garbage product, right? I don't... <laughs> and you realize I, what you're saying? Yes. I, I don't, I'm not specifying any company because I'm not here to, to, to sort of throw any other company under the bus that's tacky right. to do. I would not even want anyone to do that to me. Not that they would because I know my product is fantastic. Right. But that is what I'm trying to talk about is, okay, for instance, many women will know this when you're trying to sharpen a specific liner pencil. If we go back to the beginning story of a liner pencil. Right. When you sharpen that pencil and you go to put it on, that pencil ends up crumbling down your face and you sharpen again and it just breaks and it's got the... So our liner pencils, you have one twist, it's nice and moisturizing pencil, it transfers instantaneously, there's no crumbling and breaking, so your product's going to last and again it is completely nourished with all vitamins and minerals so that you have nourished, healthy skin and product that lasts you a long time that doesn't cost you a lot of money. Excellent, excellent. So is, in terms of doing the, pr the testing of the product, is it, uh, was it tested on animals? Is it tested no, on not a single product is no? tested on animals. All of our product is tested through our manufacturers and scientists before it comes out to the market. So everything is hypoallergenic, non-comedogenic, uh, fragrance-free, um, and that's the idea. So I actually suffer lupus and endometriosis and different things myself, so I have problems with wanting to make sure that my skin is extremely sensitive. I'm photosensitive, so I have to have a cosmetic that's healthy for my skin. So oh, we see. help women with rosacea. We help women with uh, acne because we're foundation free actually, oh, uh, really? which most women would love that. So our corrector stick is nourished with shea butter, which shea butter is a natural acne fighter, so it only nourishes and protects your skin, doesn't break it out and feel heavy and clogged. Interesting, interesting. So you obviously, you obviously are very passionate about the, the industry. You've stu clearly, you've studied it. Yes. <laughs> and you really have a, a good sense of what's happening in the world. And it, it sounds to me as though you're, you might be onto something. Sounds as though, uh, how do you feel about it? I guess, based on the reception you've received so far? Uh, we convert everybody. Every woman that either, because we have non-sticky lip gloss and right. our products transfer instantaneously. So I always say every single thing a woman hates about her cosmetics, but yet she loves, you know, we love to put on the lip gloss, but yet I hate it because it's so sticky and annoying. Or we love to wear a certain product, but it just feels like, oh my God, this people doesn't look like my face is caked up. Right. So that's the idea. Is every single thing you hate about your product, I change so that women love their makeup. And it's also, I, I also made it easy to apply. It's Goof Proof Application Cosmetic. Goof Proof. Goof Proof. <laughs> so you can go from drop to fab in less than five, right? Wow, in less than five. That's pretty yeah. fast. That's pretty fast. And from the sounds of it, it's also good for men as well, right? Yes. Yeah. And the thing about it is, you know, we'll, we're, I, I, that's what I want to hear about. Why should men wear makeup? So we're going to take a <laughs> quick break. We're going to come back and we're going to get into that. Okay. Right. What if I could take every hero who inspired me, every lesson that motivated me, every opportunity that was ever given to me, and give it to you? What if I could take every story that ever moved me, every song I ever danced to, all of my most special celebrations, and share them with you? And now, here we are. This is our day. This is our moment. It all begins here. Own the new Oprah Winfrey Network. Launching January 1st. Woo! This is gonna be good. Go on, go on. 